He's trying so hard to take it from me. <laughs> Quit it. Look at all this hair that we cut off. So gross. And I just spray it on him. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So today we have another making over one of my horses videos. So my last makeover was on Trigger. And in that video, Cash was really present, messing with Trigger a lot. So of course, we have to go ahead and give Cash a makeover. I wanna analyze everything that's going on with him and what he needs for his makeover. So since he is a baby horse, um, new things are going to come about with him. We're gonna learn things about his skin and coat and everything throughout different summers and stuff. So we need to go all into that and what he needs today. All right, so let's look at the rundown of Cash. So Cash right now has a lot of old wounds on him. And guys, this is Sharpie, it's not blood. So let me try to use a different finger. But he has a whole lot of um, old wounds. So like right here and here and here and just things that are trying to now just grow hair back, they're healed. And this is from Trigger mostly because like I said, Cash is a baby and he pushes Trigger's buttons a lot, but now him and Trigger are not in the same pasture um, just as Cash grows up so that he can kind of learn things without getting beat up. And we do have this fresh cut right here that just like scraped off the hair, but I've been treating it so it's scabbing up. So we wanna clean that out and everything. And then from all the rain, his hair is pretty um, tangly, but he actually doesn't have a long mane. This is the longest part of his mane. So we may actually trim this because I want it to all be the same. And then this is how long the rest of his mane is. He just has a very short mane. He doesn't grow it much. And then his tail is actually not that tangly um, because we brush it. But, but in my riding video, when I did a trail ride video with him and Trigger, a lot of you guys noticed that when I used this brush, which is a pretty soft brush, it's not the softest brush, but it is a curry, um, around his butt he seemed to tuck it a little bit because it was a little bit more sensitive. So what we're noticing this year though is we have a lot of rain in Florida. If you live in Florida and have equines, you'll know that this is very common. Cash is starting to get rain rot, so he's going to be a horse that will probably just be prone to rain rot if we keep him out during rainy season. So that's why we are very grateful that we have the barn and that we'll be able to put them in the barn and when it rains, he'll be able to stay out of the rain because his skin doesn't do well with it. So for educational purposes, I wanna show you guys what's going on here. So I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up or not, but rain rot it almost just like looks like this. This is just like skin flaking off and it's gonna be sensitive to touch because it's obviously an irritant, so it's not gonna feel the best for him, so we definitely need to work on this today because like I said, we've been fighting it, but this can be a summer long thing since he is exposed to the rain all the time. And then as you can see on this side, he has not as many old recovering wounds, but he, this side actually looks pretty good as far as, and nothing new really except the one on his other side, but just because Trigger has not been with him, so we'll oh, look, another set of ears. Hi, Blaze. So he definitely needs to get a bath today and a mini makeover to treat his skin. That's our main priority today is treating his skin. We treat it all the time, but we do have to give him more baths, but it's almost like an oxymoron because there's more water getting on him. So first things first, I wanna get my bucket filled up with water and some soap. So for Cash today, we are gonna be using two horse shampoos. Well, one's technically a horse shampoo, and that's the mane and tail. And then the second one we're gonna be using is called Nizorol, and this is an antifungal, so this is used for like dandruff and humans. You can use head and shoulders or any other antifungal, so this is just what I have right now. So now we are gonna go ahead and hose Cash down. He's being really good right now, just standing, but. Probably won't be for long. <laughs> Let's change the nozzle. None of these are very good, to be honest. This is why I like to use my little horse easy wash thing that I don't have right now, and I really need to find it. I have to get his little butt cheeks all wet and his tail. So now we're gonna try to attempt to get his face, but he's not gonna love it. It's okay, about this. It's like raining, it's just raining. That's what we tell him, it's just raining. It's okay. 
<laughs> okay, full stop. We just need to get your face a little wet. So now we are gonna start shampooing with the mane and tail to about here, because I don't want this to go on his butt. And then down his spine, and then the other side, and then up here. Hopefully I'm making it, and we'll stop there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my sudsy brush that we've had soaking in the water. And we're gonna start to just bathe him. Get him all sudsy. All right, so I switched out my brush and I just used a good old household sponge. So we're gonna now go in and just sponge him with the soft end of the sponge and get a nice lather. And then go all the way down to his legs into his armpits because that's what we call them around here. All the way down to his hoofs. Just one leg. All right, you guys, you know the drill. If you guys see this part of the video, go ahead and put in the comments what I drew. So this is what we're doing today. So if you guys can tell what I drew, go ahead and put that in the comments now. So we're just gonna continue bathing him, just avoiding this area for right now. All right, so now that we've got that side done, we're gonna go ahead and do this side. I think I need a little bit more soap on this side. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add more soap. and then some right here for this leg. And then I'm just gonna lightly give some water to it so that it can create a nice lather. That should be good. And now we're talking, there we go. Again, avoiding the hind area here for right now. Up on the back of the spine and then this last hind leg, so we're gonna get underneath him here. We're gonna go ahead and do his chest. You being such a good boy, Cash. Make sure we get those armpits. And under his neck. Good boy. So for the tail, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with Trey. And in our soapy bucket of water, we're just going to stick his tail in it and just go all the way up. Get all sudsy in the bucket. Now he has a sudsy tail, oh my gosh. Look at it. And then we're just gonna take what's left over in the bucket and kind of pour it on his mane. <laughs> there we go, buddy. And then we'll just use our hands and really get into his mane. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so his non-existent mane <laughs> is nice and soaked up, nice and sudsy. So now I'm just going to take my mane and tail brush and just kind of brush his mane out from the bottom to then the base of the mane. You can tell how dirty this soap is. And then look how short his mane gets. Start from the bottom, and then we'll go up. It's actually kind of like semi-long right here, and then it's pretty short right there. So I'm just gonna keep brushing his mane. And then go up here to his forelock. Can you let me brush it out? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Good boy. All right, so the mane looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go back to the tail. Again, start at the bottom. It's so weird brushing his tail and then brushing Trigger's tail. His tail is so much lighter just because he has so much less hair than Trigg's. I just got soap all over me. All right, 
So his tail was not as tangly. He doesn't have any mats or anything like that. All right, so his tail is looking really good. Oh my gosh, look at his curly little hair. Look at that, how cute is that? That's adorable, it's so curly. Oh my gosh, I love that little strand. So now that he is all sudsed up and clean, besides his rear end here, which we still need to do, which is an important part of this makeover, but we're gonna go ahead and get all the soap off of him for now so that it doesn't start to irritate his skin or anything, but look at how dirty. This soap is on my hand. So gross, he needed this bath so bad. All right, so we're just gonna use this and get all this soap off of him. Oh my gosh, my hand is so dirty when I do this. You think he's a good boy, Cash? Oh my gosh, he's like so silky smooth, you guys. I wish you guys could feel it. He's so slick. So we just wanna keep rinsing him until the water runs clear which obviously we're pulling some soap from the main here. So now we are working on this side, trying to get this side all de-soaked. Is that even a word or a thing, but rinsed off. <laughs> we're just making stuff up here now, de-soaked. He is so slick, it's so weird. He's so slick. <laughs> Guys, look at his little alfalfa <laughs> forelock here. It's doing some funny things. What are we doing with this forelock here? I'm sorry. <laughs> Look how angry he is. His ears. You're so angry. Okay. So we're still getting under his belly here. Some water with soap is still coming out. It's not running clear just yet. Basically, the longest part of this process is the whole rinsing because it's a giant animal. And it's really important to make sure you get all the soap off your horse. We have to do his rear end now to get rid of that rain rot or start to treat the rain rot, I should say. So this is our method of how we go about treating rain rot and um, we also use a Listerine and water mix um, to help rain rot and that really helps and that's what's helped us for a while. But when the rain rot gets pretty bad, we do like to do an antifungal bath and then that's what we're doing today and then we'll follow up with Listerine and water. I'm curious if you guys have horses and if they ever got rain rot and how you guys treat it. This is how we've treated Louie. When we got Louie in from the kill pen, he had rain rot and this is how we treated him and it worked really well. So I'm very curious what you guys do to treat rain rot with your horses. So we're gonna go ahead and just get his butt wet again. And this is gonna be sensitive to touch so you have to just be mindful. So I have my Nizoral and that's again right on there. It says that it's an anti dandruff shampoo and this is helping with an antifungal. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on his butt. And then you want to just work it in. And then I'm gonna try to use this new curry. I just got another one to try to help him without it being too sensitive. If it does get too harsh on him, we'll go slow. Um, we just don't want him hurting. For now, I'm just gonna work it in because it is seeming to be a little bit sensitive on him. So I'm just gonna use my hands even there. It was pretty sensitive. Just to get this so it's actually working and killing that bacteria. And of course he starts to get more antsy towards this part. We're gonna put this all on his butt here. And then as you guys can see, these little black dots right here, that's basically his skin flaking. So almost same thing as like dandruff, but in a sense not. And then we're just gonna bring the soap up to around here and really just work it in and start to just kill that bacteria. We are just still rubbing it in over here and rubbing it over on this side. This side he doesn't seem as sensitive about, which is good. But if you guys can just see this stuff, he's a little sensitive to that. This is all the skin basically and all on my arms from just rubbing him. This is basically what's coming off and that's all the rain rot. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off and show you guys kind of what it looks like. So this is without the soap. So you can see this, I'm gonna try to bring it up with the nozzle like up off the curry. So I'm just pushing it up. From 
inside the brush and then it's kind of up at the top here. And then what I'll do is, so gross. So basically, that's all like the skin that's flaking off. And then with rain rot, you wanna make sure that you're not like cross contaminating your other horses. So make sure that you like bleach wash your grooming tools and such or have another set. Um, if your horse does have rain rot and you're treating it, just that's pretty important so that you don't spread it. Also, you don't wanna make him in too much pain either. So we have this on there and we've been letting it just kind of set in. And as I showed you guys, I just rubbed on it a little bit just to start to break it up. But it all doesn't need to be gone like right away because I don't want to cause him so much pain. So we're just going to go ahead and rinse him down now. And then we should be able to see like a little bit of a loss of hair because with all those flakes, they're going to come off some hair. Cash, can you scoot over a little bit? Good boy. I'm surprised he's less sensitive on this side because it almost looks like he has more on this side. All right, so let's talk about his rain rot again so you guys can kind of see. So you guys can still basically see these little, I don't even know what you call them, but it's like little flakes of skin attached to the hair. And then I don't know if you guys can tell the texture, but it puts like a texture on them. So we did that today and then I'll keep treating it with the Listerine and water and then We'll just need to keep scrubbing at it little by little so it doesn't hurt him. And then on this side, the most texture is like up top in this area. So now we're gonna go ahead and squeegee him basically. He's already like drying right here on his neck. Knowing him, he probably will roll right when he gets out into the pasture. So I'm hoping that he will be as dry as possible when we put him out there. I want to try to lightly squeegee up here. See if we can get any of it off. So we are moving some of it, but he doesn't really like it, so we're gonna stop that there. So now we're gonna go ahead and squeegee this side. His neck gets so dry so quick, it's so cool. Look at that, oh my gosh, that's like almost dry. This thing is working so good today. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush his mane again. It's starting to dry up. And then I'm thinking that I should maybe trim it a little bit back here. So as we can see, he has tiny little mane and then this long part, and then it's kind of long here. We might leave this here, but I am just gonna maybe take a little bit off of this with my shears. Just cause it's kind of weird looking like. <laughs> Here we go. There you go, it's a little shorter. That's what he needed. See, it kind of matches up with this. Doesn't look like as goofy. Look at all this hair that we cut off. That looks better, I think. Not as straggly at the ends anyways. Maybe we'll do just a little bit here. Here we go. Should have got normal scissors and then sheared it out, but I didn't think we were gonna take off this much. Still looks pretty long <laughs> compared to everything else. We're just gonna brush it again. I still feel like I haven't done much to it, but I just don't know if I should keep it long there and then it's just weird. It's like just block and then it's off. My fingers are so pruned from such a long bath. We'll just do a couple more. So it doesn't look as, maybe it looks a little bit more gradual now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look as, 
Looks maybe more on purpose. Sure, Just telling myself that. There we go, better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick his hoofs. He just had his feet trimmed by the farrier the other day, so they shouldn't look that bad. So cute, tiny little baby feet. Good boy. So now we've got the back foot, which is actually pretty clear too. Nice and clean. Uh -uh. Good boy. And then the second hind leg. A tiny bit of dirt. <laughs> tiny little feet. Good boy. And then the last hoof, of course, has like the most dirt in it. Not much at all. Looks good. So now I'm gonna put hoof dressing on his little hoofs. So this one I'm using is just by Corona. It's just a hoof dressing. It helps restore damaged hoofs. He doesn't really have damaged hoofs, but it helps prevent drying and cracking. And it also helps with um, maintaining ideal moisture balance in dry and wet conditions. And we're pretty wet out there, so I wanna make sure that I put this on him. So I'm gonna take basically this little paintbrush and just swipe it on his hoofs. And then while we're standing here, we'll do this little hoof, get some grass in there. Okay, Cash, you can't eat this. He's trying so hard to take it from me. <laughs> Quit it. No, look, he wants to paint. This is his mouth. He's literally trying to get it from me, nobody. Oh, that looks good. And there we go. And really quickly, I'm just gonna brush his forelock. <laughs> You're such a cute baby. Good boy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put just this ointment that I have on his cut. It's a closed cut, but this will help just rejuvenate his skin cells and help for regrowth of hair, because they don't like when they have a lot of missing hair or scarring. So this will help the hair regrow. And for the wound to heal and not have a lot of flies in it, so we're just gonna go ahead and put that on him like that. And then I just use my Alu Shield, which I think that's how it's called, but it's an aerosol bandage. And I love this stuff, I swear by this. If any of my horses get cuts or anything like that, I clean them out, dress them up, and then I put this on them. It doesn't let any flies like actually touch the wound because this is like a bandage and you can't actually like put real bandages on horses and it stays on there, so it's super easy. It literally reminds me of spray paint and I clearly am out because you can hear that. And I just spray it on him and now he looks like he has aluminum foil on him. <laughs> So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and continue to treat his rain rot. And this is in fly spray, but it's not fly spray. It's my mixture of Listerine and water. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray his butt. And of course, well, hi Cash, yes, we are treating you. My sprayer is not working the best, but it's working. I'm just gonna continue to just spray it all over his butt, anywhere where that rain rot is. All right, you guys, so that basically concludes us giving Cash a makeover. We really had to focus today on his rain rot. I hope you guys kind of learned something from that um, because rain rot is prevalent in many horses. If you guys live in a really wet area like we do, we get rain a lot. This is very common for our Florida horses. So hope you guys learned a little bit. Again, put your guys' suggestions in the comments down below how you guys treat rain rot. I'm just curious to know everybody's thoughts. All right, you guys, if you like this video, if you like to see Cash get a makeover, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys think that I should do this to our other horses, also put that in the comments if you guys wanna see more of these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you have a chance for my next post notification. Shout out today, shout out goes to... Yes, this person. All right, you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.